Hello, today we are going to talk about the lumbar disc herniation, about the symptoms and about the treatment of this disease. My name is Dr. Cameron Agaev. I'm an associate professor of neurosurgery. I'm practicing in Istanbul, Turkey. So lumbar disc herniation is basically an extrusion of the disc material from intervertebral disc into the spinal canal with the compression of the nerve roots of the neural elements inside the spinal canal or just outside the spinal canal. So that's the definition of the lumbar disc herniation. In this section, we are going to discuss the mechanism of the lumbar disc herniation. So in order to go further, we need to talk a little bit about the anatomy and the structure of the lumbar area. So the spine consists of vertebral bones and the joints in between them. So these joints provide the elasticity for the spine. They allow us to bend, to turn around and uh, move around with our spines. These joints have an oval structure and there is a thick fibrous layer outside which we call annulus and a gelatinous structure inside which we call nucleus. So with time and aging, with wear and tear, the nucleus degenerates. It loses its original structure. It becomes dry, it gets fragmented, and most importantly, it loses its volume. So fragmented parts of the nucleus may cause rupture of the annulus, and they actually can herniate out extrude out and go and get compressed the nerve roots that are passing nearby. So this mechanism, basically the degeneration of the nucleus, which is a primarily reason for developing the lumbar disc herniation later on, with extrusion of the disc material outside the disc is the underlying mechanism for the lumbar disc herniation. In this session, we're going to talk about the symptoms of lumbar disc herniation. Basically, the main presenting symptom is the pain. Usually, the degeneration alone causes low back pain. It does not cause pain in the lower extremity, in the leg, or does not cause any other problems. So, degeneration alone, the damage to the disc alone causes low back pain. But when the herniation is present, when the disc material has slipped and put the pressure on the nerve, then we start having a slightly different picture or actually a completely different picture. We start to have nerve issues. And with nerve issues, we have three main symptoms. Pain, weakness, and numbness because of the damage to the nerve. So the pain starts from the back, goes down to the leg area. Sometimes it may go all the way down to the toes, all the way down to the heel, and the patient has this significant excruciating sciatica type pain in the leg. When the compression is more severe, we start having the numbness and weakness because the nerve cannot conduct the signals from the spinal cord down to the leg and from the leg up to the spinal cord. In these scenarios, we usually have the part of the leg becoming numb and in that area, the, the leg or the foot or the part of the leg becomes progressively weak.
the treatment of lumbar disc herniation depends on the severity and the duration of the symptoms. If the disease is not very severe, if the presenting symptom is only pain or not much of neurological problems like numbness and weakness, usually it managed conservatively, which means with non-surgical methods. Painkillers, physiotherapy, physical therapy, chiropractor manipulations, acupuncture, and back exercises help to improve the symptoms in the majority of the cases. In severe cases, when we have significant nerve compression, when there is associated weakness and the numbness, and the nerve is under the pressure, our goal is to relieve this pressure as soon as possible. So, for that reason, surgery becomes the major option. So, when we do surgery for lumbar disc herniation, we usually approach the spine from the back, not from the front, where the belly is, where the internal organs are. Usually, we approach it from the back. We make a small bone window in the back to reach the involved levels. We check the level during the surgery with fluoroscopy and then we remove the disc herniation under the involved nerve root. And by removing the disc herniation, we provide the decompression to the nerve root. Later on, based on the individual preferences and the condition of the patient, the surgeon may or may not decide to do fusion to connect those two bones together or not. That depends on variety of the uh, factors that are beyond of this topic. So the main goal of the surgery is to relieve the pressure from the nerve and allow the pinched nerve to recover faster. Thank you for watching this video about lumbar disc herniation. You can find all this more information on our website.